first of all, you can see the device right behind me. It's much more important than me. And uh, I would say several things regarding OLR in general. Um, OLR founded four years ago, um, although just uh, six months ago, we started to penetrate into the market um, in the extreme situation of the corona pandemic. And as you can understand logically, the corona pandemic really assisted us to penetrate into the market. We managed to get into more than 50 countries uh, worldwide already. What we provided over here is the water smartest air management platform. I will explain exactly how uh, does it work and what does it stands for. But when we're talking nowadays about indoor air pollution, so we know it was a global public emergency way before the corona pandemic situation. And the corona pandemic really educated the market regarding air quality awareness worldwide. What we're providing over here is a data-driven air quality platform based on user behavior algorithm. In other words, it's a device, a platform that provides a holistic solution for air quality. It will be attached to a water receiving, as you can see right behind me, attached to electricity and paired by Wi-Fi. It will operate for four different steps. The first step is detection. We are detecting indoor and outdoor air quality parameters real time. We are measuring the indoor air quality in the environment in order to understand the origin of the problem, to operate and provide an actual solutions. So after we're understanding the actual issue inside the indoor environment, we are getting to the second phase, which is basically the business platform that we're providing. So our air purifier is mainly oriented B2B and B2G. Most of our customers worldwide, I would say even 85% of them are businesses such as schools, hospitals, karaoke rooms, transportation companies, uh, office buildings, and so on. What we're providing over here is the ability to integrate dozens and even hundreds of devices inside the platform and see real time the air quality in each room you have implemented device inside. The third phase is our unique filtration and disinfection method. So on a nutshell, what we're doing over here, we have two listed patterns. Basically, we're starting the air gets from here through the pre-filter, which take the large particles, dust, pollen, animal hair, and so on. We'll get to the ray filter, which is also our own patent. The ray filter is a HEPA filter that relevant to particles up to 0.3 microns and consists two different layers, a carbon layer that absorbs gases and bad smells that caused by fungus and molds, and a copper compound. The copper compound makes sure that the gases that I just absorbed inside and also the bacteria and viruses that got stuck on our filter are dead and neutralized. And in other words, the filter is not just filtrating there anymore, but actively killing bacteria and viruses. In addition to that, we have four UVC lights that by the exposure killing the bacteria and viruses. And the last part of the solution is the sterilizer. The sterilizer is a biopolar ionization, regenerating 2 dr plus and minus ions. By that, disinfecting fungus, molds, bacteria, and viruses. This is how we're providing a holistic solution of filtrating the air, the air from the one hand, but at the second hand, we're also disinfecting actively the air in the indoor environment. As you can see over here, we're seeing a petri plates and reduction of viruses in the same day. We are registered in the EPA in the US market. We are in a very massive collaboration with Shiba Medical Center, as Ayal mentioned in the previous speech. And um, we also certified in the Ministry of Defense in Spain. I will elaborate about this in several minutes. Regarding the coronavirus, which I assume it's very important. So as I mentioned, we founded ourselves four years ago. We weren't oriented for the coronavirus specifically, but as you can understand logically, when the pandemic started, we wanted to approve ourselves just on the, corona pandem on the coronavirus sp uh, specifically. We found out that we are capable of disinfecting this virus by 99.99% from the indoor environment with Chiba Medical Center and also with different institutions such as Advent, Health uh, Advent Healthcare in Florida and also the Ministry of Defense in Spain. The fourth part, which I assume is most uh, important part for B2B channel, our device is an IoT device, meaning that we are using open API, we can integrate with building management system, and we can discuss with other IoT devices. So as you can understand logically, not everyone understands what high VOC levels 
or high CO2 levels stands for. We are translating those parameters to actual recommendations and insights, such as possibility to viruses in the air, possibility to someone who's smoking in the room, if it's a hotel room, for example, or even to tell you to open a window and get fresh air from outside because we are measuring outdoor air quality as well. We're a plug and play device, very easy to install and to, and to maintain. You just attach it to a wall on the ceiling, connect it to electricity and pair it by Wi-Fi. Each device will do 55 square meters and 2.5 full air exchanges per hour. We're suitable everywhere and I will elaborate a bit about this manner. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, we are working in many countries now in many different segments, schools and universities and kindergartens all over the world. We also install in different hotels, commercial buildings, hospitals, and that's the main thing. Before I will finish, I would like to show another thing and to show you a live demonstration of how the device works and operates. So what I'm going to do right now is showing you basically the B2B platform that we're using. Over here, you can see sort of a platform that our customer will receive. This is our platform here in our offices. You can see the logo of Aura as well. Right, out, uh, right outside our offices, you can see the air quality outdoor. It's 89 out of 500, which is moderate. In general, air quality index would be between zero to 500. 500 is the poorest air quality and zero is the best air quality. Over here, we're seeing all the devices integrated in our platform. I will get a big, big conference room. This is the device right behind me that you can see right now. We're seeing that the air quality is 60 out of 500 real time. It's measuring it in different parameters, showing you when do you need to change a ray filter and the Wi-Fi is connected, meaning that the information is validated. What I would like to do is to manipulate the device in real time. I'm going to spray something called smoke detector tester. Okay, so by spraying the smoke detector tester, the device, as we mentioned, is measuring real time. It understands the problem and see what's their quality. And according to that, reflecting immediately on the platform itself, let's see it together. So as you can see, the air quality changed according to what it sends. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but also the fan got increased. And not only that it changed, it also shows you the exact parameter that caused the better quality. So in this matter, it's CO2 and TVOCs. While it's working, I will just move to devices section over here. In the devices section, we have QR code for each device. So by getting to the QR code, this is how we're providing sort of B2B2C. Whether it's a gym, hotel, people in the bus and so on, they do not need to download any application or to see any big B2B platform. They can just scan the QR code real time. And basically by scanning the QR code, they are seeing real time their quality of the device they scan. This is the QR code of the device right behind me. If you have a minute, I'll be very happy if you manage to do it by yourself with your phone. Um, unfortunately, I won't get a feedback with you, but that will be great that you'll be able to see real time the device right behind me, the indoor air quality and the outdoor air quality as well. So I will wait just 10 seconds and then we'll move on. Okay. Those are the main things. If you have any question, I'll be very happy to answer. And also I will share in the chat my details in case someone would like to contact us. Thank you so much for your time. And it's a pleasure to meet you all.